bad in these interview stories. We had a rash of people who were claiming to go to a karate competition in California. And so they would each come into the embassy wearing actual karate clothes. And it got to the point where we actually had to ask them, could you do karate moves in front of us? And most of them could not. Some of them would actually come in and they would say, uh, karate. <laughs> and we would have to refuse them their, their, their visa, of course. But um, those were really, really entertaining. Whenever there was like a big event going on in the United States, you would always have visa applicants who would try to apply and try to um, get their visa through that program. One bad visa interview was actually after the visa interview when I was actually in, a, I was at a rock concert in Lagos. I refused this guy's visa months ago and I'm actually at the, in the bathroom and I'm at the urinal and a guy comes next to me and he says, hey, I know you, you refused my visa. And I was like, I'm happy to talk to you about this, but after we're both done with our business. <laughs> One great visa interview was uh, we were interviewing this 90-year-old man and he wanted to go visit his grandparents, his grandkids, and he was saying how he misses them and he loves them and he wants to see them again just for a brief period of time. And then after I give him the visa, he actually turns around to the entire audience of visa applicants and he says, so long suckers, I'm never coming back to this country again. And so I had to say, excuse me, sir, uh, no, we're gonna have to refuse that visa. <laughs> When I was in Lagos, in Nigeria as a visa officer, people find out your name, your number, your contacts, and they truly try to understand you and really do a lot of research on you. But unfortunately, I was the kind of officer they couldn't do a lot of research on. And unfortunately, there was a rumor going around Nigeria that I actually wasn't an American citizen, but that I was a Nigerian citizen doing visas. And in fact, the local newspaper ran a story saying that I was the Nigerian with the fake American accent. And I always thought my accent was pretty good. 